From Hollywood A-listers like Jennifer Aniston to NBA star Isaiah Thomas, many celebrities and athletes are voicing support of products like CBD, popular cannabis products, but Grammy Award winner singer and TV personality Tony Braxton is using CBD for a very specific reason. Yahoo Finance's Julie LaRose joins us now for more on that in her interview uh, with Tony Braxton. Yeah, well, guys, Tony Braxton, about 12 years ago, publicly disclosed that she has lupus, which is an autoimmune disease. And it's actually really hard to diagnose. It's kind of mysterious. And we talked about her experience coming out and being public with this disease and how she's finding some relief through CBD. So take a listen. Lupus has, a defi has definitely affected my life, but I think it's different depending on each person. Um, I have some systemic lupus. I was diagnosed a little over 10 years ago. It was a scary moment, but I remember feeling relieved once they told me I had lupus because no one knew it was wrong with me. It's kind of challenging to diagnose. But once they told me I had lupus, I remember being afraid right after that. I got scared, like, oh, okay, okay, what is lupus? And they just educated me on all the things that lupus can do to the body. And it was um, a surreal moment. I had to tell my kids. I didn't tell my kids right away. I had to gather it myself and take it all in. But it was, it was a kind of scary moment for me then. I didn't want to tell anyone because they told me if you tell anyone, you'll never work again. I remember them telling me that. So I just kept it all into myself, which made it harder when you have to hide it, you know? Not that you want to tell everyone, you just hiding it puts extra strain on you. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I personally am living with a lupus diagnosis for just over a year now, and I gotta say, Tony, I looked up celebrities okay. who were going through the same disorder, you know, because I was looking for other folks, other role models, and you were just mentioning that you were afraid to yeah. go public. Uh, what was it that you were so fearful of uh, when sharing your diagnosis? I was more fearful because they told me it's scary. Uh, people are uncomfortable. It's difficult to get performance insurance. Just that they go, oh, you know, Tony, she's sick. She can't really do this. She can't really perform. She can't promote an album. So why would we make the investment in her? So I wanted everyone to think everything's great. Oh, I'm happy. I got comfortable with that lupus mask face, as we call it, putting it on, because it doesn't look a particular way. So I got comfortable faking it. And then it got, became a burden, faking that I feel great all the time. That was the most challenging part for me. You're looking at different things that work for you, and you found something that's working for you. I have. I found something great that works to be a great alternative. You know, having lupus being on so many different medications all the time. All the time. This is the thing that I don't need a prescription for. <laughs> so it's great, and it works. Um, I, I discovered it by default. I couldn't find my prescription medication, and my knee was bothering me, and I said, okay, I gotta find something, and I'm looking under the sink, and I, oh, what's this Uncle Bud's anti-inflammatory? Okay, I'll try that. Put that on me. I saw it was CBD. I said, that's something to make you high? I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I was a little nervous. I put it on. I didn't care. I was in so much discomfort. And like, less than an hour later, I kind of forgot. I'm like, oh, I feel much better. Oh, wow. Then I felt great. And I said, well, what is this stuff? Looked it up, and it was Uncle Bud's CBD, called my manager and he's like, oh, I know the guy that knows the guy. And that's how I got connected with this brand because I loved it because it really worked. It doesn't have the THC in it, so I use it as often as I need it. Perfect solution for me. It almost sounds like because of this diagnosis and finding this product, you've found an opportunity, if you will, um, in the CBD space. Uh, we were talking earlier about the fears yes. around the career with the diagnosis. I guess on the flip side, do you see opportunities because of it? I find that my story can help other people. I believe in paying it forward because there are people that have helped me. There were people behind the scenes like, Tone, come here, let me talk to you. Let me tell you, this is what you do. This is what you don't do. And I've learned to listen to my body. To say, you have to listen to your body. It's telling you what you need to do. That was the hardest part because I'm a performer. I'm used to performing all the time, and I, don't, I haven't really been enjoying it. Now I find that I'm enjoying my career more because I'm taking my time and I'm just easing into things instead of haste, haste all the time. The time like oh I gotta do everything in one week no nope, let me do that in two weeks because I got to pace my body and I'm enjoying the moments I go to countries go to different parts of the world and I get to see the different parts of the world any updates what are you working on right now what's the next project on your plate I'm excited a new album comes out the single comes out next month less than 30 days so I'm looking forward to that that's my favorite thing to do perform I remember when I was first diagnosed with lupus I was contemplating retiring I was going to retire my dear friend babyface came to see me and said you can't do it I understand you're down I understand you're sad but 
you know, this muse guy gave you this gift, and this is going to help you get through it. And he was right. And we did an album together, and all kind of friends from a see Madonna, Barbara Streisand. People sent me messages, calls. It was wonderful to have that kind of love. One final question. You've been in this industry for a long time now. You've had such a storied career, yet this industry has changed a lot from a, just a business perspective. What do you make of the changes? You know, what I love about music um, is that it's instantaneous. When I first came out, I think it was like, it was, it was just starting to, dats were the new things. I don't even know if people know about dats. It was like, ooh, dats. I remember when Napster was a big deal. I remember it was like, no, Napster, and that's the best thing that could have ever happened because music is instantaneous. That's what I love about music now. Um, and I mean, sometimes I hear people say, how do you feel about how it's changed? I feel like I've changed along with the music, so, or the industry. I love that vinyl's coming back, which is before my generation, but I still love that it's coming back. So I think the kids are loving the whole 90s and 80s things. My kids are fascinated with it, which is great because it takes us back and, you know, it makes us slow down a little bit and enjoy this life more. This year. The luxuries of it. So she's definitely talking about getting help by using CBD, but I think more importantly what Tony Braxton is doing, just by being open and public about this diagnosis, she's actually helping a lot of people. And that's what I was alluding to with the opportunity, the opportunity to have impact by being so open. Yeah, and I mean, Nan, you, you were talking with us a long time ago about cannabis as well yeah. in terms of what it could be used for. I mean, th those stocks necessarily haven't seen the gains from all the people finding new uses for CBD. Right. but. Interesting to see it be used. It is. We, we know it's going to grow in popularity among folks who have never been part of the world of marijuana before. Uh, and this is a perfect example of how uh, people's suffering can be alleviated yeah. uh, by these products. And Julia, just to help us understand, you know, how lupus works, mm -hmm. um, can you give us a sense of kind of how it affects your health? Uh, so as Tony was saying, it's different for everybody, and it was definitely, you know, it's different for me. Mine could be totally different from another mm -hmm. uh, case, but I had a bunch of symptoms that were mysterious, and I didn't know what was going on with my body. I had joint pain, inflammation, rashes, fatigue, and it was a series of appointments and finally figuring out what was wrong with me and figured out a treatment plan. And I got to say, um, I told her this. The fact that she was so open with it, it gave me a lot of hope because I was looking for people with high performance lifestyles who were dealing with this because I was fearful. I didn't know what this meant um, for my career or whatnot. And I just kind of give it up for people who are just vulnerable and open and brave about their diagnosis. Yeah, for sure. And important for all those treatment options out there, too, to find what's right for you. But Julie LaRoche with Tony Braxton, thank you so much. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.